Hi, I'm Mark Thomas with Upol Products, and today I'm going to talk to you and do a brief demonstration on one of our great products for plastic repair, part number UP7061. It's a flexible high-density filler made specifically for the repair of TPO, EDPM, and polypropylene, as well as any other flexible component that you come in contact with. In addition to doing road rash and deep gouging, this material can also be used in combination with reinforcement mesh to do tab repairs and hole through repairs. And that's what we're going to show you today. On this hole through repair that we're doing here, we've simulated an actual rip in the bumper cover itself. Our prep on the front side of this material was to come in with 80 grit on a DA to bevel the edge out a little bit and then just to sand by hand out around the edge here to give some mechanical adhesion over the whole repair area. As we roll this over to the back side, you'll be able to see that we came in and cleaned the bumper cover itself with a waterborne wax and grease remover. Then we hand sanded this with 80 grit on the back side as well. You can use 80 grit, 60 grit by hand with a DA, whatever means that you want to prep the back side of the panel. And we're going to do a one inch overlap at the ends and the side on this using nylon reinforcement mesh. That's going to give us our reinforcement on the back side. Then what we will do is we will come to the front side and we're going to use the 7061 just like it's body filler to fill this area back in. Mixing the 7061 is done exactly like standard body filler is utilized. You can see that the product is dark gray, kind of a brownish gray in color. Just like with our standard body filler hardeners, we use a 2% catalyzation ratio with this material. And we're going to mix the product up. At this point, we're going to take our 7061 that we've mixed up. We are going to apply it to the top of the mesh that we're going to utilize right here. And We're going to roll the bumper cover over and we're going to apply the reinforcement patch on the back side of the material. While the material is still wet, we're going to roll it over to the front and we're going to take some additional material. And we're going to spread it right into the repaired area. We're about to peel the film off the back side of this to show you what the repaired area itself looks like after the patch has been made on the back side. At this point, we'll flip the panel over and we'll be able to come in with our sander and DA the front side of this panel down and feather this material in and show you what that looks like after it's been sanded. At this point in time, we're going to come in with our DA with 80 grit sandpaper and we're going to sand the front side of this panel down. One of the really nice features of the 7061 flexible high density filler is that not only can we shape with 80 grit, but we can actually feather into the original TPO with 80 grit. With most of your plastic repair components that you're using for flexible bumper repair, you can always shape with 80 grit, but you always chase the hard edge. With the 7061, we'll be able to completely feather it in on the first cutting with 80 grit sandpaper. At this point, we've finished our first cut with the 80 grit on the DA, and you can see uh, we've done our, uh, our DA sanding on this, so there is no hard edge anywhere around here. Again, one of the nice features is at this point in time, we could go to 180, 220, step it down to 320, whatever we needed to do to get ready for our final paint prep on this. Also, before uh, painting over the top of the TPO surface, this is an area where we would want to use the Grip4 Universal Adhesion Promoter over the top of that to make sure that we've got a tie-in between our base coat and our clear coat over the original um, prepared surface.